Hey, 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 Uncle Mark in the Mothership with a three-string cigar box guitar, Billy Squire, The Stroke, killer classic rock chord riffs. Just a wonderful tune for that. So uh, I'm going to do a little bit of it, and then we will break it down. Now, everybody, have you heard? If you're in the game, then stroke's the word. Don't take no rhythm. Don't take no style. Got a thirst for killing. Grab your vibe. Just fabulous. So, uh, G, D, G, 423424, that's what we got going on here. These are wound and these are electric guitar strings. Uh, it's not necessary to have these exact gauges. These are the gauges I prefer to use. And that's just because I'm who I am and you're who you are. I'm playing here through a Roland Mini Cube, and so I'll show you those settings after. Uh, after the video. So if you're interested in that, please stay tuned to the end. So this thing has a, a drum beat where it's a boom, ch, boom, ch, boom, ch. And, and what I like to do with that is a something like that. The chords. So open G. G sharp A, B flat B, C, C sharp D, D sharp E, F, F sharp and G. And this song is based on this D. And D is a bar at the seventh fret. The little riff that I did, the little that is D minor. That's basically the key of this song. And that is a D, A, F. So that's the shape you want. You could certainly do it with this finger. And you're going to back off a half step here. So you're going to go F to E. So it's kind of like... You can do it that way or... Whatever you feel like is best for you. Okay? The bar chords you're probably pretty familiar with, the C to D. Now, when I hit these, notice how I play the chord and slide into it. You're going to find this is a lot easier when you have more gain or more volume on your amplifier. You're just going to find it easier, but I'm starting at C on the 5th fret and coming up like that. So I'm already down, like so. So that's the rhythm to this thing, is this. So down stroke on the C, slide up to D, up, down. That's a move, it's a classic rock move you're going to need, and we're going to do that in a lot of different shapes. Okay, so practice this a lot, this down, slide up, pull up, and then down again. 
So that's something you're going to need to practice and it takes a lot of time to coordinate your hand, your right hand with your left hand. So uh So that's kind of what we're looking at. But what were these other chords I was playing? So if I take this D string, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, N, G, and A. All of this section where we're doing this all revolves around that note. D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, and A. If I take, let's just say here, this G. That's a G note on the D string on the 5th fret. If I hit that note by itself, that's a G. If I hit all three strings, that's a G chord. If I add a D and a D, that's another way to play your G chord. The beauty of this way to play is I can go to A, I can go G to F, I can go G, F, E, I can go A, G, F, E, and that's what you're going to need in this song. So, the first chord is an F, so we know where that F is, D, D sharp, E, F, and then C, and C, and C. This is going to look like 5, 3, 5, and you're going to slide up two frets, like so. And remember, that's that down, and I'm exaggerating how far I move my hand. If you watch me do it, I'm very close to the to the strings. All right, but I'll exaggerate again to show you how this motion works. And I really like these slide offs as well. So that's a little pro tip. The slide offs really, really enhance the um, the chord. Like so. Okay. So the chords I'm making in the beginning, it's uh, boom, ch, boom. Everybody, have you heard? You know this how it goes. So we get strokes the word, and then it's F G. Don't take no rhythm C D. Don't take no style F G. Got a thirst for killing, and then you make the same shape you had here. Grab your vial. So it's A. G, F, E, and you're going to come up to that D. So, everybody, let's start out this thing. Everybody, have you heard? If you're in the game, then stroke's the word. F, G, don't take no rhythm. C, D, bam. F, G, first for killing, A, G, F, E, C, G, G, F. So it does a, a little tricky thing there. And like I said, I've got this over here. So once you get the A, G, F, E, and if you want to play classic rock, okay, I'm straight up, I'll just tell you this right now. You have got to be able to go uh, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, uh, A, D flat, B, C, C sharp, D, C sharp, C, A, G, B flat. You've got to be able to hop. Okay, that's a technique you're going to just have to master because you're going to do a lot of these. And I'm 
just showing you how to practice that. I'm not showing you anything in particular, but that would be how I would practice it. And just up and down the neck in any combination you can think of. Go, go uh, F to G to A. Go F to G to C. Up and down and all over the place. So A, F, G, F, E. Uh, D minor thing, C, G, G, F, okay, second verse, put your right hand out, D, D, G, F, D, 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 G, F, Red Ear Pollution, did this in the last verse. A, G, F, E, C, D, F, E, Stroke, Miss Murphy. Stroke. Now we're going to do that G, F again. Stroke, Miss Murphy. So, getting this right, and it, and it depends on how you want to do it. You can stroke in, hop, stroke in, or you can slide up, stroke in, stroke in. Getting this with your pinky is not easy at all, and I make it look really easy, okay? But that's the stretch I make, and I'm pressing really hard like so. So it's a... And don't worry about getting every note. If you bang on at least that note, that's going to sound just fine too. So don't worry about getting this whole chord and practicing the whole chord. Get the vibe. The vibe may be for you just that note, that note, and air. just individual notes, right? You get these chords and you just do this by one note. You can hop this way, but you're so out of position now to get back. That's why I like using my pinky, but I have a very strong pinky. But that's this whole song, is getting this rhythm and, and it's really complicated. It really, really is complicated, this down. So that's the stroke. That's Billy Squire. Thank you so much for everything you do for me. I do have a PayPal link down below. It's a paypal.me forward slash Uncle Mark Tips. Thank you so much for everything. A buck a show is all we ask. And uh, I do have a Facebook page at Cigar BX Blue. And I told you that I would show you my settings here. So uh, I really have the gain turned up quite a bit. So I'm still on that Brit combo, which I really am satisfied with. That's more a Vox uh, sound. Got a little bit of reverb, and my gain is pretty high there. So check that out. I'm right below 12 o'clock, so, you know, I'm probably at 1, 1 o'clock right there. So that's what I'm looking at. And, uh, well, thank you so much for everything you do for me, and I really do appreciate it, and we're coming back at you real soon.